So, on today's edition of Do You Want to Be a Flipper? I bought this property, $30,000, and I budgeted a few dollars to do some basic rehab. And I came in, everything was looking pretty much fine. Um, I thought I was just going to have to replace a few cabinets, do some flooring, and, you know, just basic stuff, basic, basic cosmetic stuff. Well, boy, was I wrong. So, I wanted to tear down this wall that's over here. Cool, no big deal, until it suddenly became a big deal. This right here is what you call a load-bearing wall right here. So, we have to do some structural work. No big deal. That, I wasn't too worried about that. What I, what, what I am concerned about is we decided to really pretty much gut the kitchen and put on new cabinets. I thought that was fine. Pretty normal stuff when you consider having to redo a whole kitchen. You take out the cabinets and you might have to do some sheet rock. However, dun, dun, dun. when we took out the cabinets, we noticed the floor was sagging crazy. And you know what this, these things are? These are joists. This is where you lay your subfloor on. These things are rotted. Do you see how dark they are? Completely rotted. That one's pretty much non-existent for how much rot it is. All right. So then we had to remove all the subfloor. And now I have to replace those two joists. NBD. What I was more concerned about was that sewer pipe. And I was trying to figure out where the heck it was coming down. So we removed everything that was behind the wall. And we're like, where the hell is the sewer pipe? We only see it there. This is what, buddy Oh, Welcome to Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Where they put the sewer line outside of the house. Yep. This sewer line is literally running out perspective and understand what the problem is with this usually when with houses the sewer line usually runs from the front of the house and goes through the house and that way if you got to do any type of addition and plumbing you're good but because this one runs outside of the house in order for me to do what i want to do which is add a bathroom to the first floor i have to break this ground two feet down two feet left two feet right to give us room to work on this pipe at a Y and then basically throw piping all the way from that corner outside across all these floors and into this room where we want to add a bathroom. Wow. Guys, if that wasn't enough, when I when we ripped up the subfloor to um you know to try to run this plumbing here's our furnace when we got under here we noticed the furnace is basically laying on nothing how this thing hasn't collapsed only god knows so we need now we need to go in down there and resupport this thing it's like a 300 pound thing you still want to get into house flipping that's dope. A lot of you guys were uh, reaching out to me about this project, and it seems like you were interested. And uh, we're good. We're moving along. We're moving along. Open this up further. Before you know it, this was going to be a bathroom right here. Bathroom, little trap door to the crawl space. We're going to jack this all up, like I said yesterday. This is what you run into with these uh, hundred year old houses. So, but since I saw you guys, I showed you guys that mess. I show, I'll also show you guys what we may have going on upstairs. So, we are going to be redoing this bathroom. That's getting done on Monday. That's getting done on Monday. This bathroom. Um, Doing some old tile, just do top. That's crazy. Some people they just do the stuff on top of the tile. But anyway, we're gonna redo this on Monday. Um, three bedroom. 
this is the simplest of room. We're just throwing sheetrock up here, doing some floors. Um, another simple room, throwing some lighting in here. Gotta get rid of this TV real quick. And last but not least. By the way, I think we have some information on Mason's here. I'm definitely going to throw this into the VCR because I've always been curious. What the heck do Mason's do? So we got some secrets here. Hopefully they don't infiltrate my... Uh, they don't infiltrate my, my Instagram and... Uh, stop me from watching this but i was always really curious about what they do so it's cool we got some got some interesting stuff i think this is the owner funny looking hats huh uh i guess they don't got masons that look like me there she goes outside Right there. You can see it. They say two by six is what they should have used in the inside, right? That's why they didn't bring the yeah. pipe in. They used two by four. Yeah. 